Welcome back, everybody. I am the Moy Chicken, and I'm breaking crates. This is more summer night. We are still deep, deep in the lab labyrinth, looking for our good friend Sinari, who was ostensibly possessed, and she she was she was taken away. And even though the Craft Knights were like, "Don't worry, we'll do it," uh, we were like, "I can't trust these old people to take care of this." There is no okay boomer here. I'm gonna do it. I'm a young person, and I know better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in there and save the day. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're here to aggressively disobey our elders and save the day, presumably. So, here we go. Uh, also, we have no idea really what, where, where, where she is or anything about it. <laughs> we, we have no idea what's going on. We're just going deeper and deeper in. Um, oh. Also, there was kind of a funny bit where Master Brom was like, I gotta at least put up a, a token resistance, so you shouldn't go in there, the Graft Lords will handle it, handle it blah blah blah. <laughs> it's just sort of like, eh, don't worry about it too much. Is that gym ring good? Uh, no, not really. The Magatama ne necklace is just really good. Got more martial lore. Oh wait, I'm not like this. All my web all my magic weapons right now are also fire. So anytime I see one of those like fire fights, I'm just like, nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm just gonna ignore this. Ow. Ugh. Straight up kicked out of the air. Very painful. Very painful! Come here, you. Ow, dude. Are you a monster from Clancer? I know I've said that numerous times now, but I really can't think of it as anything else when I see their faces. They just look like Clancer monsters. Things do feel very important now. They keep giving me high-end, like, uh, health potions, and, like, these rooms have a single treasure chest in them and things. It's like, uh, this feels important. This all feels very important. Come here, you. Ha! Alright. Still looking for stuff. Here's a question for you. When you're playing an RPG, and you're in a dungeon like this, are you typically more excited to find the way forward first, or the treasure first? I'm usually more excited to find the treasure first, although in this instance, like for this game in particular, I prefer to find the, um, the way forward first, because, um, it makes it easier to explore. Like, the, since since these labyrinths don't really have any, like, structure to them, they're just kind of, like, whatever areas, um, it definitely helps to be able to know, like, okay, this is where I need to go when I find everything I find here, so. Um, it's beneficial. Also, break these crates. See, I would have missed out on those core parts. Very important, those core parts. I needed those. So there you go. Eh, forget it. <laughs> just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just leaving. I'm done with you, Spiros. Oh, okay. Bank. Does it tell you what floor you're on? 45? Oh my gosh, I'm so deep now. It's very exciting. Evil sword. Sword of Darkness! Feel the wrath of my Blazing Holy Sword! Blazing Holy! Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Yes. Actually, my sword kind of looks like one of those monsters I just fought, so... Maybe I gotta... Maybe I should take care to make sure my Blazing Holy Sword doesn't become a evil sword. Yeah. Medkit. Am amulets. 
think Amulet reduces fight frequency, if I remember correctly. Um, let me check something. Support. No, those are good. I was gonna say, do I need to equip like a med kit or something? But no, those are all good. Those are useful things he's got. More martial ore. This feels very into the game with the way they're giving me things. The way they're giving me like items and stuff. It feels very end of game. No, I don't want to fight you guys. No, see you later. <laughs> Oh, and there's a save point and a hidden room with treasure and treasure and Machina Worm Bolt. Got that Machina Worm Bolt. Yeah, baby. What is that? Big shrug. Am I there yet? Ah. Got that twisted fire starter! And that's it. This room. Just a fire starter. And working out some aggression on barrels. And crates. Crates and barrels, in fact. At the same time. Hello, Iron Giant. I'm going to do my thing where I jump on the other side of you. <laughs> this one's just not having any of it. He just didn't- he tried aggressively to not engage. He's like, nah, I don't wanna. There we go. Aha! They've hidden a treasure chest amongst all the others. I have so many Klotzen potions! Can you stack clots and potions like this? Let's see. What does this do? Um. Item. Okay, that... That actually might be better, honestly. We're gonna try that. Just because I have so many of them. I have so many clots... Actually, hang on. How many, how many med kits do I have? Too. That might be useful too. Mm, that's like a, it's a revival item. I'm gonna hang on to those for now. That sounds like something that would be really useful against the final boss. You know, that's a funny thing. Like, um, that makes me think of Life Three from uh, FF Three Six. Growing up, I would always play FF Three the same way, and I would always make a point of taking a party into the dinosaur forest, where if you're familiar with that game, you know what that is, but there's like an area that's really good for grinding, and it's, it, it's shaped like a dinosaur, and you only fight dinosaurs there. Um, I would go to the dinosaur forest, and I would fight the 255 battles necessary to um, restore the, uh, the paladin shield. And so I would usually leave that forest in like, you know, upper 70s, 80s, maybe 90s with that party. Um, and they'd just be pretty noble Iron Fan? I'm sorry. <laughs> they'd be kind of unstoppable, really. And they'd have, like, all the spells, so they'd have stuff like Life 3 and stuff like that. And it's like, when you have all those advantages, it's sort of hard to remember the challenge of the game. <laughs> like, I, I, I tried to beat the game on a friend's save file who you know, hadn't bothered to do all of that. And I remember thinking, it's like, whoa, Kefka's kind of hard when you're not prepared. <laughs> this is tricky, actually. I Maybe it was just my le my overwhelming levels and equipment that made me uh, what I thought was good at this game. It, it's, oh, Sakuro! And... Cody! Orexa? <gasps> Orexa's alive! No, oh, we warned you not to come here. Nevertheless, I guess your resolve will help me this time. <laughs> Are you alright, Master Sakuro? That man did this to you? Wait, this can't be... Yes, it's him, Orexa. There's no doubt about it. But I thought he was dead. No, 
he was alive, or rather, I should say that he was kept alive by Barista. Huh? What do you mean? She gave him a latte. A delicious latte. Orexa is being controlled by Barista. How could that be? Orexa has been under Barista's influence since the beginning. It explains why he was able to cause this chain of events. Now you're my only hope. I ask of you, save Orexa for us. Master Sakura. <laughs> Child of Shintetsu! Gera! Well, I am ill prepared for this. Uh, can I whack you in the head some more? Whoa, hang on, okay. Quad some potion. Nope, I was doing I was doing a thing. Leave me alone. I was doing a thing. You're all zippy, I gotta keep up with you. Nope, wrong way. Holy moly, this guy is definitely kicking my butt right now. Um, I was supposed to say, did I, did I get you in a loop here? What are we doing here? Is this? Oh, wait, it still uses up an MP? Well, what's the point then? <laughs> what's the point? Alright, I should go back to using my magic spell then, because that did more, and it's the, it, it is, in effect, the same thing, so why not? Oh, I forgot about his cute ghost! Oh, dude. <laughs> That's not good. Actually, <laughs> come to think of it, that gives me the best chance I've had in this entire game for actually breaking someone's weapon. Ugh. This is actually a pretty tough fight, all told. Stop! Ah! Okay, hang on. Let me eat this. My win thing is cuter than your win thing. This is, like, the hardest fight I've had in the game, I think. <laughs> this is, like, really challenging. Which is cool, because it's supposed to be, you know? It's like, it's supposed to be a very important fight. Gotcha. Whew. I probably should have just tried to keep going for his weapon, but... My resources were getting really low at that point. Alright, I killed Orexa again. I won! Oh, you were right. Are you hurt, Mo? I was hurt before we started. I'm alright. Thanks to you, Master Sakuro. You had to weaken him beforehand. Cody! Oh, I'm sorry, Cody. Uh, thanks to you, too. Cody. Mm, it's you, Mo. Orexa, are, are you sane now? My sanity it was lost a long time ago. Is there something large I can jump off of again? D don't speak. Save your strength. <laughs> I guess I lost to you again. Master Rexa. Anyhow, let's bring him back up to ground level. Uh, but if I return to you, I won't be able to search my... Can you my search for Sinari? No. Sinari is also being manipulated by barista like Rexa. By using Sinari, it's trying to lure the child of Shintetsu, that is, you, to go down there. This is barista's plot. 
It's a trap. Therefore, you must return now. Scenarios used to lure me down here? Mo. In that case, isn't it my fault that she's in trouble? Mo. If this is true, then I really must rescue her. Ma Master Sakuro, please let me go save her. I see. Very well. I'll trust you. Master Sakuro. Scenario should be down further than this. Remember not to chase the enemy too far. If it gets too tough, escape at all costs. Yes. I'm counting on you, Kuri. Kuri. I'll come down after after you guys as soon as possible. And thank you for saving Arexa. Yes, sir. Let's go, Arexa. Let go of me. I can walk by myself. Okay. <laughs> Why are you always so stubborn? It's my only character trait. Goodbye! Alright, so Rex is alive. Hooray. <laughs> I mean, I, I am actually happy that Rex is alive. That's good. Because this means he can make it up to his sister. <laughs> he can make it up to all the pain she, he has now put her through by attempting to kill himself. Oh, yay. Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just gonna go. Um. I wish I, I wish I knew how much. So we're at, we're at time right now. I, I get we're at about 15 minutes. But I feel like this is important. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit longer. I'll, I'll just ignore battles for a li li little bit. And we'll just go a little bit longer. Let me use an Etsy. Do I have an amulet? I think I have an amulet. Amulet. Yeah, use that. Yep. There we go. Okay. That should make things a little bit easier while I'm searching down here. Oh, Iron Giant. I'll fight an Iron Giant. I just really like these monsters. I don't know. It's cool looking. It reminds me of a robot design I came up with a long time ago. Um... It had that that robot had the same kind of like big head, and he was just he was just a big like smashy robot like that. That's kind of what that reminds me of. So it feels familiar to me. Bank, bank, bank. I liked that robot actually, the one that I made up so long ago. It was a. Uh, it was, like, the only one of that group of robots that was actually, like, um, original, I guess. <laughs> like, the, well, I mean, the others were original, but they were all kind of based on, like, the same same general design. And then this one one robot, which was called Golem, uh, he just looked different, and I liked that. Um... <laughs> yeah. this, this just goes to show how I would play around with words without really knowing what they meant. I had this group of robots who were supposed to be, like, secret agents, and I named them, all robots, mind you, the Bio Boys. Because <laughs> robots are known for being biological organisms, right? <laughs> I think I put a Z on the end, it was the Bio Boys. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this looks important. Huh. What's this room? It's so hot. What's this? I got a small key. A key? Cootie! Cootie! What's that? Scenarian! I don't know. What? And what? Oh! Hello! Who are you? Oh! Thou hast come, O child of Sundetsu! I am one of the Holy Spirits of the Sword, Barista the Holy Spirit of Starbucks. From the Spirit Realm I was summoned to forge the blade that expunged the flames of my kin. I am a wretched being, chained in the depths of the seas by thine ancestors. My flame sealed by thy father, I am a spirit of fire sans fire. I curse thee, thine ancestors, thy father. I burn for, for egress from this realm, for the annihilation of all. O oh, child of Shintetsu, thou art the one whom I obstructeth, whom I obstruct, obstructeth my, 
Oh, thou art the one- sorry, I got there eventually. Thou art the one who obstructeth my wishes. I burn. For thine destruction! Sceneri? Damn it! Return Sceneri to me! No. Screw that. Look how spooky I am. Well, that's not working. Um... Oh. Does everything just do one damage against this thing? Oh! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Wish I had a water sword right now. Ha! Ah. I learned that trick from a giant giraffe! A giraffe taught me to hide from that! Fool! Ha! I learned all about fighting long-necked creatures from fighting a giraffe- Ow! Okay, the giraffe didn't do that, but... Oh. Kill me! The weapon has no effect on him. What's going on? Why isn't it working? I shall finish thee with her hands. Sorry. Cody, thou shan't escape. Feral! Hello. What are you doing, Mo? Feral? I told you I wouldn't forgive you if you were defeated before you fought against me. Curse thee, dost thou intervene? I've forgotten her voice now. <laughs> no wonder you lost your semi-final match. You're being manipulated by this ugly beast. What? Uh, uh, Veral? Mao? Sinari! Oh, I'm so glad you're back to yourself now! Now, I shan't allow let thee escape! See? Run! Harry, take this with you! This is a summonac gem. What are we going to do with this? It's stupid and I don't want it! I'm sure it'll be a help! I get it. I'll keep it for you. <laughs> Let's get out of here now! Wait, Sinari is still here! Ugh! I'm, I'm dying, apparently. Uh, hey, pull yourself together, Mo. Damn. I couldn't save her. Sinari. Damn it. Uh, damn it. There's a that. <laughs> Everyone, Big Bro! Just, Big Bro just moved! Uh, hey, you're making it sound as if Mo was dead. But I was really worried, you know. Where, where are we? Razzy? Master Sakura, too. Why, why are you here? What is that thing? <laughs> what? What is this? What is that? And who are you? I am Kuhira. Nice to meet you. Sure. Cody. I'm sorry, Cody. What the heck happened? <laughs> I said you were in big trouble, so I, said I came after you. And I chased Razzy to stop her from chasing you, and we ended up here, in this room. Anyhow, I can tell that you're all right, all right now. Feral, I... Um... Thank you. Don't thank me for this. You need to ask him about what happened. Feral, stubborn as always, just like Orexa. Everyone here is stubborn. Got that out. So, um... Kuhira. Who? Who are you, Kuhira? I am the Holy Spirit of Ice, summoned to the spirit realm for by thy father. I am the parallel entity to a buddy star, the Holy Spirit of Starbucks, young heir of Shintetsu. The parallel entity of a barista, summoned by my dad? He's a counterpart of barista. You could say he's like a twin brother. After Romari's incident, it, 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 sorry, let me start again. After Romari's incident, it appears Shintetsu discovered the existence of a counterpart of Barista. He planned to reunite them as one and send them back to the world they belong. He had hoped that no more people like Romari would have to suffer. Didn't you know about Courier? Courier? I was not aware of this at all. The plan was kept secret from us. But I suppose my dad didn't succeed in his attempt to send him back, so he had to make the Swords of Sealing instead. 
He did not agree to re return. Baristas a spirit of fire and Sarbok, sorry, sealed beneath the sea. His spirit powers were suppressed. Denied freedom and barred from returning. His rage against man hath grown immense. Barista desireth to emerge to the surface and seek revenge on mankind who hath sealed him. Why was he captured? A long time ago, the people of Lindblom, who Lindblom, <laughs> the people of Lindblom, led by Regent Sid, who were besieged by the spirit realm and the Oni realm, started to make magic weapons with the help of summon beasts conjured from another world. Barista is one of the holy spirits of swords that was summoned back then. That is correct. But even after the invasion of was over, the humans never stopped fighting. Those who sought weapons chained Barista, who wished to return, down to the sea floor. and constructed a tower to seal him. That tower is Wiston, the City of Swords. How can that be? So, well then it means that Barista isn't the bad guy. That's correct. Our duty as craft lords is to keep Barista sealed. That's why he's a str strong animosity with the craft lords. Especially with Shintetsu, who sealed him in after he was awakened by Rumari. He hates me, child of Shintetsu. That's why you used Sanari to lure me down there. How can I... How can I rescue Sanari? The only way to is, is to return Barisa to his home, Sapporeth. By releasing his anger that hath accumulated for several hundreds years. Several hundreds of years, but whatever, we're not... We're not... We're not mincing words here. To release his anger. The cause of the earthquakes, after all, is just Barista trying to get loose, isn't it? If so, then we can send Barista back to his realm, then Sanari will be saved. Isn't that right? But even my dad couldn't do it, then how could we? Shintetsu's work hath yet to be fulfilled. What? To forge the swords to seal the might of Barista, Shintetsu devoted all that he had, using even his soul as their material. My dad soul as a material? Cootie, is that true? Cootie. The reason why my dad died was because he put his soul into those three swords. Thou hast been entrusted with the task of taking the will of Barista and making us one. I have been waiting for thee here to commu communicate the wish of Shintetsu. And I have it to find you, right? It was not by coincidence I summoned thee here. What? Is that so? Oh, darn it. What, what do you mean by taking Barista's will? I get it. Razzie, now I understand. There isn't all that much we as craft knights can do. We take our own will, along with the will of our partner, and the weapons that we forge. By putting all my effort into it, I can fight Barista seriously. That's the answer. Very well. That said, none of the weapons I, I work will... None of the weapons I have will work on Barista. That's a reality you must deal with. Kuira. Isn't there any way I can forge a weapon that will allow me to fight Barista? Yes, there is. I am the parallel entity of the Holy Spirit of Priest of Starbucks, the only one who can destroy him. But there are materials required to create that weapon. First, a summonite gem. Uh, got one of those. You can use mine too. Use mine too. Use mine as well as Snarry's. Use all our summonite gems. Just throw them all away, Snarry. She probably knew about it already from being connected to Barista. Snary. What other materials do I need? Summonite or... Huh? Or? No worries, I know someone who can help. I'll get it ready for you. Thank you. What else do I need? One other thing, the most vital material of them all, that is... YOUR SOUL! The soul of one deeply connected to the wielder of the weapon. Yes, the soul of thy guardian beast. We're using Cootie's soul as a material? Cootie, it's awful that I have to use your soul, Cootie. Art thou ready to sacrifice the soul of thy guardian beast? Answer me, O child of Shintetsu. No. Very well. When thou hast made thy decision, come back to me. Until then, I shall grant thee time to consider. Is this... Do I have to do this? I don't want to make Cootie into a sword. No. I don't want to do that. All right, well, at the very least, I'm going to delay till next time. In the next episode, I guess maybe we'll hammer our little buddy into a sword? I'm not excited about that, but maybe. All right, well, come back and see what happens. I am the Moy Chicken. This is Summer Night, and I'm scared. Bye. Little Cootie, I don't want him to be a sword.